We now return to your regularly scheduled programming. You gotta be kidding me. We gotta put a stop to this. Hey, why are you playing this game? I know, it's like so much worse than the first one. Like you would know the difference. What is that supposed to mean? It means that girls suck at video games. Here, give me that. Why don't you just go get your nails done or something? You're at a video game store where you see a gamer being harassed simply because of her gender. When teenagers aren't patrolling gaming stores looking to rough people up or doing sick tableaus, you know what they're actually doing, right? It's what they're best at. Harassing girl gamers. White knight, a person or thing that comes to someone's aid. Journalist, a person who writes for newspapers, magazines, or news websites, or prepares news to be broadcast. But what happens when you combine the two? I'm an activist, but I'm not angry. I just get angry when people are ignorant. Women in esports navigate hyper-masculinity and harassment. First a fast rising female esports star was threatened, then she quit, then she didn't exist. Overwatch Pro quits after harassment, whether she was really playing. On one hand, we had people questioning her legitimacy. On the other hand, we had people acting like her messiah. It is absolutely unacceptable for members of this community to bully, harass, or dox players for their gender. It shows why there's so few women in this sport. This sport. Now, I'm fine with eSports, but that E is essential. Six countries, 36 players, limitless Dorito dust and Mountain Dew. As world champion, one more game. Oh Nicely done from him, that two kills in quick succession. So if you didn't hear what happened, out of nowhere, a girl joined a professional esports team for the game Overwatched, was harassed and bullied, and doxxed and then she quit because of this. Journalists went wild, news outlets couldn't believe what was happening. Keeping in mind again, these are journalists, not activists, and they did no research on it, and they discovered that people were questioning who this girl was and where she came from. So of course, like any great journalist would do, any writer who would take that information in, without finding out all the re real details, they said she was docked and harassed until she quit. Uh, yeah, bully, we can use that one. Harass, right, that seems like the appropriate word for this situation. Unfortunately, due to some unforeseen reactions, Ellie has opted to step down from the team. We hope you continue to support her in her ventures in Overwatch, as we will. That's just how white knights talk, okay, everybody? Poor Ellie F off, real last name. Unfortunately, she didn't exist at all. It was just a guy who was good at the game and decided to pretend to be a girl to see if he could get signed to his professional esports team. And this budding journalists, these great writers, not activists, remember, the one at Wall Street Journal, had this hot take. It's now being described as a social experiment that got out of hand, though I'm still not clear on what point was attempting to be proven. Still not clear. I have to clear. Doesn't know what point was attempting to be proven. Not clear. Clear. It's still not clear. <laughs> 